Hey guys, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're continuing my organizing my makeup collection series. So at this point, I have actually already done the organizing, but I haven't shown you guys the products. So I figured I would keep like going how I was doing it before. So I show you like, basically this is also a collection series. I don't know, bear with me. <laughs> but I'm showing you what I have and at the end I'll show you like how everything is laid out, I guess, that's my plan. So today we're doing blush and bronzer. So I think that's all I need to say. So there's a playlist on my channel called Organize With Me, which has like all these kinds of videos. If you wanna check that out, I will link it below. But I'll get started. So I'm gonna start with my bronzers. I actually don't have a lot of bronzers, like single ones, so we'll just, get started. This first one is very special to me because I paid way too much for it. <laughs> it's the Marc Jacobs um, Tantastic Bronzer. So it looks like this. It's a huge pan, like so, um, with a mirror, which is nice. But this is a really nice bronzer. It's more like a cool tone bronzer but not too cool toned, whereas like it doesn't show up gray or anything, which is good. So I really like this, even though it looks like I haven't used much. Um, yeah, and I love the packaging. It's just like so nice and luxurious. This one you've seen on my channel quite a bit. It's the Fenty Cream Bronzer in the shade Butter Biscuit. Which I mentioned before is maybe a touch too light for me. But now that I'm looking at it, it's quite similar to the Marc Jacobs one. But maybe because this is a cream, it just blends away easier. But yeah, that's this one here. And I have this Pure Mineral Glow. I got this in a BoxyCharm a really long time ago. I actually really like this bronzer. It has like a nice sheen in it, if you can see. Um, I don't think, either they don't make these anymore or they changed the packaging, I'm not really sure. But it used to look like this. So this is like one of the oldest bronzers in my collection, but it's a powder, so I'm not too concerned about it. Um, then I have this Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Contour. So it says it's a contour, but this is a bronze shade in my opinion. Oh, it's actually a twist off. It has a little poof here. Wait, how do you open this? <laughs> I forget how this works. Oh, it's one of these, so you pull this off. <laughs> so it's a cushion product as you can see, but I think we can all agree, this is very bronze toned for a contour shade. But I remember really liking this when I used it in my Wet n Wild video. I should get more use out of it because it's a cream product. Then I have this little mini Bobbi Brown bronzing powder in the shade 2. I believe this came in a Sephora Favorites set. So it's really small, but I actually remember really liking this when I used it. This is more like a cool tone bronzer. Well, at least like compared to the other ones in my collection. And I remember it being like really smooth and blendable. So I'd like to get more use out of this one too. This one might be my most used bronzer. It's a mini... Um, Fenty, but the powder bronzer. So this is the shade Shady Biz. I really like the tone of this one. It looks quite light, but I feel like it shows up on my skin tone. This is definitely the oldest bronzer in my collection. And I know that because I remember buying this. Actually a funny story when I 
first started my YouTube channel, well, actually no, it was even before that. It was when I started watching YouTube. I actually didn't own a bronzer prior to that. Never owned a bronzer. And by the way, this was when I was like 29 years old. <laughs> so this is the first bronzer I went out and bought because I literally didn't have a bronzer in my possession. And I bought this one because at the time everyone was like, oh my god, it's the best bronzer ever. It's better than like high end. So I was like, oh good, it's going to be super cheap. This was $20 when I bought it. And also I didn't know at the time that drugstores had sales like every day. <laughs> so. Now I know that if I ever want to buy Physician's Formula, by the way, that's what this is, Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. So if I ever want to buy anything else from Physician's Formula, I just have to wait for a sale because it happens like every other day it seems and then everything's like 40% off. So I will never buy anything Physician's Formula at full price again. But anyway, that's my whole story about this bronzer. And I actually do really like it. I have used it quite a bit, if you can tell, because it used to be all bumpy, but now it's quite flat here. Um, but I should probably take this back out soon. It still smells okay, but see how it looks a bit weird on top? I don't know if that's like hard pan or what, but yeah, that's my oldest bronzer the butter bronzer oh and this is the shade bronzer so i also didn't know at the time there were like different shades so i just thought it was called bronzer but that's actually the shade if you can see here bronzer so now they have like deep light maybe they just have deep and light ah. anyway that's way too much backstory about that one bronzer <laughs> here's another one that's pretty old i got in a boxy charm i'm not even sure if they make this anymore or where you can even get this brand cargo but i remember liking this one too this is the shade medium it it's another like sheeny kind of bronzer it's quite similar to the pure one but I remember, I really like this too. I guess that's all my bronzers. At least the ones that are like in single pan. So I'll, wait, no, I see one right here. This Benefit Hula bronzer. I think this is a mini size or like a deluxe mini. It looks like this this one is quite popular on youtube um i actually got this from influencer so that was fun and i should use this more i actually don't really have much else to say about it because i don't remember so that's another one so now i'm pretty sure that's all my bronzers so we'll start with the blush so this one here this is the patrick ta do we know her cream no double take cream and powder blush this was in my shop my stash so you may have seen it in my other videos i really love this and i actually have the she's so la one as well but that's in my new makeup box still so you haven't seen any of that stuff well you have when i hauled it but you haven't seen it in my collection videos this is the hourglass ambient lighting blush in dim infusion i bought this from boxy pop-up for like i don't know six or nine dollars something like that uh, it was actually on my Sephora wish list, so when I saw it on the pop-up, I just decided I should pick it up, but I don't even think I've used it since then, so yeah, there's that one. This one is the Tarte, oh, 
this word that I can't say. It's backwards. Akiyoti. I, I don't know. This is one of the oldest blushes in my collection. It looks like this. It's like a nice pink shade. Um, I got this in like, you know when Tarte does like once or twice a year, they do like you buy like six, six? I think it's six full size products and, and you get it in a bag and it's like a good deal. So I got this from that. This is a Physician's Formula Butter Blush in the shade Natural Glow. This is very light. Um, even on like someone as fair as me. Well, I'm not really fair. I'm, I'm light, I would say. But yeah, this is very light. I bring this on vacations because it's like a good packaging and it smells good. Yeah, it smells like the bronzer. This is the Tower 28 Beach Please. Is that the name of it or is that... Buildable Luminous Color for Cheeks and Lips. Yes, I believe these are called Beach Please, like the product. But this is the shade Magic Hour. Looks like this. And I really like this. Only I feel like it doesn't last very long because of my dry skin that eats up product. Because it's a cream, if you couldn't tell. Um, it actually looks kind of weird. It has like beads of something on it. I hope it's still good because <laughs> it's not that old. But yeah, I have this. I actually got this in a set with a mini with the mini um, Tower 28 gloss, the clear one. So yeah, this one is from Stellar. I bought this because it was in the sale section um, on Sephora. It's the shade Eclipse and it's a very like metallic blush, if you can tell. Um, and it has one of like these little brushes here. Yeah, it's just, it's very shiny. It's almost like a highlighter, but it is a blush. It says, oh, it doesn't say anything on here, but I remember on the box, it said it was a blush. And it actually has a warning on it to not use it on your lips. So I don't know what that's about. I wouldn't put a powder on my lips anyway, but yeah, just if you're wanting to know. Um, I also have one of these Fenty Cream blushes and I haven't even used this yet. It's called Fuego Flesh. I bought this when I bought the bronzer and I really just bought it because I wanted to try an orange blush but then I haven't even swatched it or anything yet so yeah I have this and look these are so small like I know it's a blush but this is actually the same size as the mini bronzer so I feel like they could have made these bigger especially for the price but yeah that's this one then I have my two Colourpop Sailor Moon blushes which you guys have seen many times on my channel so I'll just show you quickly the first one is this um one that has like a sheen it's cat's eye and the other one is a matte it's a bit more like a brighter pink and this one is from the moon i like both of these and by the way i did buy the whole animal crossing collection <laughs> i'm waiting for it it should come like any day now and i'm really excited i'm going to do a video so in case you guys are wondering because i did mention in another video that I really wanted to get it and I actually got the whole collection. Oh dear. This is a Too Faced blush and it's called Fruit Cocktail Blush Duo and it's the shade Apricot in the Act. It looks like this. I have never used this. It smells good. It has a little apricot on the mirror. 
Um, I bought this in the States because actually, fun fact, the Too Faced like fruity, what was this called? Fruity something collection. You can only buy it at Ulta and there's no Ulta in Canada thanks to COVID. But <laughs> here is a blush that I picked up. Yes. Here is one of my favorite blushes ever. The Too Faced Papa Don't Peach. It looks like this and I love it so much. It smells good still. This is a Canadian brand. It's called Elate Cosmetics and it's all like um, natural kind of products and they have these like bamboo um, compacts that you can refill so this is a universe yeah. universal cream in the shade bliss it looks like this this is obviously a blush um, this is a blush video so yeah <laughs> um, yeah I don't I find this product is like not very easy to use because when like right now when I touch it like it's dry it needs like the warmth of your hands to warm it up before applying to the face so it's not my favorite but I did I'm happy I tried this brand I don't really know where you can buy it other than on their website and I also saw them on well.ca so if you're interested but yeah this feels like super dry right now so you really have to work at it and that's not really convenient when you're like you've already done the rest of your makeup and you want to put your blush on and then you have to like do a whole thing about it so yeah see now that I've warmed it up there there's the shade so it's very like thin and creamy once it's warmed up but yeah there's that this is a laura geller bake baked blush and brighten in the shade tropic hues i got this from a boxy charm it's really pretty it has a nice sheen um yeah i don't remember anything about this here is the mac so natural glow play blush oh glow play blush in the shade so natural these were like all the rage when they first came out i haven't used it much because it was at my condo but now that it's here i should pull it out more because it's like a i don't want to press it any more than i already have but it's like a putty kind of texture um yeah and it's just a nice like neutral blush tone so i have some more blushes in these drawers here this whole drawer actually is blush so i'll show you these this first one i love this this is the mac blush baby this is like an og mac product it's a really nice neutral but like more mauve than the glow play one this is a loose blush from studio makeup from a boxy charm i have never used this as you can tell but i do like loose blushes i had another one that i actually decluttered uh, i gave it to my mom and i only did so because it didn't fit <laughs> in these drawers it was too like um thick like this way so I gave it to her but I really liked it I just it was really similar to this anyway like the shade so I don't need two loose blushes in the same shade so there's this this is it just says luminous loose blush there's no like shade name I have another Tarte blush this is a mini in the shade party really like this tone as well this one i've used quite a bit i think everyone has this blush because it was the birthday gift one year at sephora here's another mac blush but in a different packaging this is warm soul 
and I bought this because of YouTube <laughs> because everyone on YouTube always talks about MAC Warm Sole so I finally got it it uh, has a sheen as you can tell I remember really liking this I need to use it more here is a mini hourglass blush another ambient lighting blush but this one is mood exposure it's more like a mauve tone really like this one it's one of my favorites the Burt's Bees blush with bamboo in the shade toasted cinnamon this is when I really started to like warm blushes like peachy bronzy blushes so I really love this um, I will say it's very pigmented. You have to use a tiny amount, but still really like this one. And I have, of course, a mini NARS orgasm blush. <laughs> I think everyone has one of these, whether you wanted to or not. It somehow ends up in your collection. I think this was in a, yeah, it was in a Sephora favorites kit. So I have that. I think now that's, oh no, one more. One more MAC blush in the shade Lesson in Love. Why do I feel like I already, did I already show you this one? Oh my God. This is like a more pink tone blush. Really like this one too. Oh, and I see right here two more blushes that don't fit anywhere else my kaja cheeky stamps you've seen these a lot on my channel i have the shade koi this one and i also have this one in the shade feisty a lot brighter i should use this i don't know if i've ever used this maybe one time i believe that's everything yeah and then of course oh no there's more. <laughs> There's more right here. This is like the overflow. I have the Milani Luminoso, another product I bought because of YouTube. It looks like this. And the Benefit Rockateur, which I think my cousin gave to me. It's more like a peachy pink. Really like this shade. And then I have um, some liquid, well, like cream blushes. The Maybelline Cheek Heat in the shade Coral, no, it's French. Yeah, Coral Ember. This one here. These are not the best cream cheek formula, but they're one of the first like that came to the drugstore and everyone was really excited about them, so I wanted to try it. Um, and then I have a Rare Beauty. What were these called? I don't remember what these were called, um, but it was like the when they first launched and I have the shade Love. And I only got this one because I really desperately wanted to try it. And it was the only shade that was in stock, like anywhere. I went to all kinds of places and even online. But I actually ended up really loving this shade and now I have an obsession with these like terracotta kind of blush tones. I really like this. And I'm going to get the the new ones. I want to get the nearly apricot one. And I'm, I'm really excited about it. Because <laughs> I love, I just like everything Rare Beauty. It's like Fenty, like I just have to try everything they release. So yeah. Um, now that's, yeah, that's all. That was my blush and bronzer. So that's it for this video. <laughs> I'm going to do one video for my lip products and I think that's gonna be really long. So yeah, I hope you like this video. And if you like, these kinds of videos, like I said before, I already have a whole playlist of them, so I'll leave it below. And subscribe if you want to see more, and if you want to see the lip video, because I haven't filmed it yet. But yeah, if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you. <laughs>
in my next video. Bye!